So when we bought this vinyl, we had thought that it was a 3M product, but after going to the Van Expo and talking to other people who have done a lot more vinyl than we have, we realized that it was actually an off-brand product. And after talking to him, he had recommended that we actually redo our vinyl wrap in about six months. So we might end up doing that. In the meantime, I do feel like the wrap that we have on there turned out really well, so you can follow us along. We ended up using the 3M knifeless tape to be able to do the sharp cut line and the vinyl itself is a little bit more than just the aesthetics of the van. It will help protect the paint and protect against scratches too. Hi, my name is Joanna. Me and my husband Billy have just started converting this Sprinter van into a camper. And right before we went to the Adventure Van Expo in Chattanooga, Tennessee, we decided to wrap our hood so it looks like our van's a little bit more done, at least on the exterior. Bug guard. Nice. But I'm wondering, because this is peel and stick stuff. Uh-huh. That's the paint, but we're putting the hood. It's gonna be vinyl wrap. So I guess I should wait until we wrap it. Whatever you think. Probably. As long as it stays on the wrap. I don't know. Might have to research that. Or hit up tear wagon. Or you could have the wrap end like here. Should I do that or should I do like a hard turn? Can you grab that hood spoiler? I want to see where that terminates. Okay. Ow. So we got this all prepped because we're anticipating the wrap to come in, but we weren't even sure. He said it was supposed to be delivered today, and look, Billy's so happy. He says, there's UPS now. It says Vivid, but it's made by 3M. I guess it's their vehicle wrap grade. It's got some kind of special glue. Anyways, today we are wrapping this hood, and instead of doing the entire hood, which to me kind of looks kind of boring, um, we use this 3M finish line. I've never used this stuff before, but it's supposed to be knifeless tape, so you can run your vinyl wrap over the hood and over the spot that you want to cut it without using a knife. And you just like pop it back and then pull that line up and it will cut the vinyl. And we should have a nice crisp clean line. But I am no vehicle wrap expert, so we're gonna see how this goes. of this back side and then set it down just like this. Okay? Now we peel it. Keep it over off the sand. So I really did this once before. Back up. Great. You need help? You have two? The help I'll need will be lifting it up. Okay. 
We used a felt squeegee to smooth out the lines and also a heat gun to be able to smooth out any imperfections and with the heat gun I must say the vinyl was pretty forgiving. Overall the knifeless tape was pretty easy but here you can see we had trouble. You're supposed to be able to pull the string and it's supposed to split the green tape directly in half so that when you pull it away it cuts the vinyl wrap exactly where you want it to. We had to get it started with a razor and then once we did that we were able to get it going. Didn't like the beginning. So now that we got our vinyl wrap on there, we can add our front spoiler. And we ended up not cutting out this front, leaving it bare to adhere the front spoiler because Billy researched and found out that the 3M tape that came with it will adhere to the vinyl wrap just fine. Pull up and that's loud. 